to it. All right, so the first topic of the day. Meg the Stallion, furious, angry at DJ Academics and any other media outlet that's reporting anything pertaining to her case with uh, Tory Lanez. As evidence comes out, DJ Academics reported this, and this is what started everything. We're going to get into the whole thing because there's a bunch of no-name brands from large media outlets but who didn't establish a name for themselves trying to come up off of this as well, so we're going to get into that. Academic said this. He tweeted this. Update. Tory Lane's trial adjourned till April, with Tory's lawyer telling the court they have completed DNA results from the prosecution, which is very pleasing to his client. I saw the doc. Okay, so he put in... um. Brackets. I saw this doc myself. It literally says it was inconclusive in finding Tory DNA on the gun or magazine. Damn, son. Where'd inconclusive you find finding that? the DNA means they couldn't find any DNA and inconclusive. It wasn't a positive finding. All right. So because he reported this and he said, I saw the, this doc myself, academics has proven himself to be a legitimate source when it comes to reporting news academics doesn't lie there's no reason for him to lie when it comes to the news that he reports ain't nobody got time for that meg the stallion meg the stallion <laughs> to, uh went on ig and said this i know some of y'all blogs on payroll but please don't get sued trying to create a hate campaign be a real journalist and post facts. And to my haters, keep making yourself look stupid. I don't care. So that wasn't directly calling out academics, but she later on went to mention academics specifically. All right, so this is the first tweet. Academics tweeted this. Breaking. It was revealed in court a few moments ago that Tory Lane's DNA was not found on the weapon in the Meg Thee Stallion case. He tweeted that. Meg Thee Stallion was very upset, fuming. And responded with this. Y'all got breaking news 15 minutes before court started and nobody has even been called in yet. Y'all trying to win a social media campaign. This is my real life. Y'all trying to get retweets, spreading false narratives, academics. Why are you lying? What did you gain? That's what she responded uh, to academics with. And she also responded with, I know some of y'all blogs on payroll, but please don't get sued trying to create a hate campaign. Be a real journalist and post facts. And to my haters, keep making yourself look stupid. I don't care. All right, so uh, a reporter, Nancy Dillon, said, update. I have transcript from court reporter. This is what Tory Lane's attorney said. We are in the process of actually retaining an expert with respect to DNA. It is our hope that we will be able to review and confirm the LAPD's analysis, which from our standpoint was favorable. So the LAPD already ran an analysis on the weapons and found no DNA. All right, so reporter Nancy Dillon posted the facts. Academics responded to Meg Thee Stallion saying, you can't little nigga me ever... Never in my life. You literally signed to a nigga, managed by a firm, signed to another conglomerate. You don't put out, you don't own nothing you put out. You literally won all your awards off of sympathy, off of you got shot shorty line. Get your masters back, then holla. Then he tweeted the receipts of another reporter. The LAPD's analysis was favorable from the standpoint of Tory Lanez and showing that it was inconclusive with the DNA. So academics posted this, retweeted it, said, Megan, where's my apology, Megan? And then he also tweeted, oh, I know you've been living off a narrative and it's sad you made it where if Tory don't go to jail, you don't win. Ah. All right. So academics, the grammar on that tweet was rough. Ah. There's also other tweets, him calling her a peon. Then he goes in on a Twitch stream. Academics isn't wrong about this. Megan has been getting a lot of sympathy awards. She has been complaining and crying about labels and all sorts of fuckery. She's been a perpetual victim. Crying to me and I'm not having that. I don't care to spin any narrative. We, we talk about the facts and then when the facts are out, then we could discuss and give our opinion on the facts. I'll give my opinion on the facts. I don't care to spin a narrative or make it seem one way at all. 
the facts come out. So far, the facts that came out have been looking favorable for Tori, and it's been making Meg look like a liar, if we're going to keep it a thou. And there's no ramifications or repercussions for uh, women, lying, women lying on things like this. The men just have their life in shambles, and if he gets found uh, not guilty, then life just continues. It's a good thing for him. He gets off, if that's the case, if that's what happens. But what happens to her? Nothing. Just got away with a massive fabrication and a bunch of sympathy awards and sympathy love from the media. Ah, just like a woman. Stop it. Get some help. Y'all can go back to the videos of me first covering this. We got to be looking at Meg and be keeping that same energy. We got to keep that same energy for Meg. If if what? It, what? if we find out that she was lying and Tori didn't shoot her, we got to keep that same energy of call. We could we were calling Tori a bitch ass nigga if he did it, but there was always the asterisk of if he did it. We're not putting the label on him at all. We're gonna let him rock out until we get more evidence. But if he did it, that's the label. Ah. But if he didn't do it, then what are we what are we saying about Meg? Who who was the idiot that did this? Meg's been getting a free pass forever. Meg's not even you know what? I'm not even gonna say that. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, but, led astray, run amok, and come flat on, out man. Deceived. Academics is right about this one. Um <laughs> Got yeah. <laughs>